The personal development world has not worked for the majority of people who want to create a life they love. They're still searching, they're still seeking. They're able to have what they love for a short time, but then are always pulled back by some magical self-sabotage. So if you're like me, you kept on searching. You got certified in as many different modalities as you could. You applied yourself, you read books, you meditated, you listened to the law of attraction, the secret, you did Psych K, you, you went to the emotion code, you did NLP, EFT, Reiki, you changed your diet, you went into matrix energetics, you studied the greats, Bruce Lipton, you, you looked at Joe Dispenza, you really studied Lynn McTaggart and these amazing people, but yet you still find yourself creating short-term progress only to be pulled back. My name is Chris Dunk and I wanna share with you the secret that I uncovered to help me create amazing big end results. And I mean amazing results. A man in my work regained his eyesight after three months of working in this field. Another lost over 40 kilograms, which is nearly 90 pounds in just a couple months. We've had tumors healed, relationships come back together. People create infinite different sources of wealth. It's just been amazing and it's not what you think. So let me share this with you so you can truly understand how to create end results that you really desire rather than be in the sabotage pattern. The reason why all of these amazing works, and I love them, I've been to nearly every single program that you could imagine I've attended, I've applied myself over a 15 year journey with one question, how do I create a life I love? And I would create short term progress only to be pulled back and I couldn't understand it. And eventually I got frustrated and more frustrated. And then I would look and see others who after 30, 40, 50 years are still going to therapy. They're still doing it. They're still doing work on themselves like this mad obsession that that's what life's about. Life's about creating what you love. Simply, that's what it's about. It's not about anything else other than creating what you love. Yet, why don't we all have it? Well, typically it's because of structure. See, we have a current reality and a desired reality that are not equal. So let's say that the current reality is that you're uh, you're single, okay, and you want to be in a relationship. Or your current reality is, uh, is that you're broke, you want to have money. Or your, your current reality is unhealth, and you want to have health, okay? Now this seems fine. This seems like you should be able to act and move from one to the other. However, in the current reality, you have an identity. And this identity here is in the current reality and it doesn't want to change. So what happens is, is this identity of single, broke, unhealthy, in any one of these, the single, broke, unhealthy, it might have an identity where it lives in a, in a place of scarcity or frustration, okay? Or, or, or some sort of place of dis-ease. Now, if you were to actually accept that which you want to create, if you were actually to accept this and have this, the identity would have to be different. It would have to be abundant. It would have to, instead of be frustrated, be happy or content. Instead of dis-ease, it would need to be an ease or health. Okay, so it would be different. Now, your identity does not want to die. So what happens is, is as you move, from single to relationship or, or broke to having money or unhealthy to healthy, as you move towards it, a different force pulls on you. See, tension seeks resolution. A tension between here and here is strong. It pulls you that way to resolve the tension. Yet, as you move towards this tension, your tension of your old identity becomes stronger. So what happens is, is you move from your current reality, you start moving this way, and then because your identity doesn't want to die and have to move to something else, it pulls you back here. And it gives you a different instruction. And that instruction is that now you must take a different action to fix yourself. You must become these things. And so what happens is you become these things here. You aim to become these things. But as you aim to become these things, you still notice that you are still single, broke, or unhealthy, whatever it is. And so you get this focus back here again. The person typically stands right here in the middle, taking one step forward, one step back in this complete oscillating loop. And this is what I see in most of the personal development conferences and circles, is they reinforce an idea that you must fix yourself. 
you must fix your current reality and this creates oscillation. This creates an inability to have it actually resolve. There is another way. You can create a different structure that allows it to resolve in the way you want it to resolve. And, and I mean big results. In my life, I've been able to help others uh, resolve massive health challenges. I've had a person regain his eyesight for three months working with me. He went from not being able to see to being able to see. You now having the big black glasses to then being able to literally say, Chris, I can see your face now. He's now got reading glasses, huge. In my own life, my business went from struggling uh, to doing millions of dollars a month. Huge transformation. I got married to the woman of my dreams. I live in paradise. I was able to shift. I've been able to help thousands of people with this and now I want to share with you. I never ever thought this would be something I would be talking about. I was a marketer, an entrepreneur. I was doing other things over here, trying to figure out how to create a life I love. And everywhere I saw the same message. You're not good enough. You're not worthy. You've got to fix yourself. And the truth is, is that is the golden cage that keeps us stuck, having to always go back and, and, and keep trying to fix ourselves, keep trying to fix ourselves. The problem is, when you give the silent instruction that you need to fix yourself by picking up the next book or reading the next thing, you tell yourself, I've got to fix me. That just reinforces an identity that you're not it. When I managed to shift into a new structure, which I want to explain to you, it was becoming it first. You must be it before you see it. You don't need to fix yourself. Once you step into this new structure, your current reality flows to your desired reality. And there is no oscillating pattern. Anyway, this is massive. I've got a masterclass I want to give you for free. I would love you to be a part of this. On top of that, I also want to teach you how to access your super conscious field and create huge healings, huge transformation in yourself and in others. So it's free. At the end of it, you can join me into some of our programs and courses, but come experience this work. Click on the link. Come join me. It's absolutely amazing. I want to cut this video and I want to share a live demonstration of the work and how it can shift you so fast just if you step into the true end result into the right structure. I'm so grateful to share this message with you. Uh, it's, it's my life's work and I'm very proud to, to let you know that if you get in the right structure, you can create whatever it is that you love. But you don't have to believe me, you don't have to be skeptical. Watch this, experience it, join me on a web class. I'll explain it in detail, how you can do it. And I promise you, once you learn this, you, you'll never go anywhere else. You'll understand structure, you'll be able to leave and be able to just move to end results you want without this crazy oscillation. I love you. Thanks for listening. Uh, thank you so much. Watch this and I'll see you on the training. Bye for now. Cool, I've got two seats. So this is like when you ask someone something that they don't like and then come out and just sit in it right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. How are you guys feeling? Nervous. Sick. <laughs> Good. I'm not gonna cry. This, you guys are gonna be fantastic for this. Okay, so the first question we always go into is, so what would you like to create? What would you like to create? Who's gonna go first? What would you like to create? So right now, this is your reality. What would you like to create in, in relation to public speaking? How would you like it to be? Feel confident. Yep. Relax. Yep. And just allow whatever happens, happens. Yep. Easy. Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two is compared to that, what's it like now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nerve wracking. I don't even know how to spell racking. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, the way that the recode works is I will connect into the superconscious um, that you guys both have. And I will call the, the resistance into the active experience and then we're going to create a treatment plan. You are that part of your superconscious, and it's going to be like uh, playing on a football field. And the resistance is, is like, imagine like little gophers, those animals have popped out and left little mounds of dirt everywhere, right? And as you're trying to play, there's all this stuff in the way. 
And as I talk to the superconscious and create a treatment plan, it will just be like the superconscious is just sweeping all that dirt back in with a feather in the perfect way, in the perfect order. And you'll just be able to be on the active experience without that resistance. That's what will happen. Uh, have either of you done a recode before? I've dabbled with your replays. Done some replays? Yeah, I have. You've done one. All right, good. Well, that's going to make it even easier. Cool. Right on all of them. You cried on all of them. All right. So um, what you must experience and, and own before we go into that is you've created this resistance to being a uh, powerful, confident, relaxed, and easy. You, you've created this. Yep. Okay. And you, you've created it because resistance is just there to avoid anyone being able to see one of your wounds. Right, that's what it's created for. So you've created this. So the first thing is just acknowledge, yeah, I have created this. This isn't me. This is something I chose to create. Something I chose to create so that I wouldn't put myself out there to be a public speaker. I would. I wouldn't. It would make. I'd feel nervous. But it's just not true. Yeah. You see, it's something you created. I can't hear. Sorry. I don't want to hear. You don't want to hear. <laughs> Can't focus. All right. Yeah. So, so that's all right. I get it. I know you get it. And the the important thing is is the part of you that doesn't want to hear it is a part of you that's like holding on so much to the to not wanting to be powerful because it thinks it's it is something scary about it. So it's going to be a, a big shift. So should we do the should we do the recode? Yeah. yeah. We're not there. All right, so if, if, you, if you're okay with me to connect with your superconscious, just close your eyes and give me permission and just choose to get the most out of it. All right, cool, superconscious, see you there, yeah. So superconscious, see this resistance? Yeah, cool. So please treat all emotions, including the emotions of fear, worry, worry about events, future events, past events, and the original event. Superconscious, do you see all of this? Please treat and do a massive change history and everything after that. Superconscious, do you see the chakras, especially the third eye, heart chakra, sacral chakra? See the chakras? Please bring up any resistance related to those and please treat and do a massive change history and everything after that. Thank you. There you go. Superconscious, see the memory barriers. There's memory barriers. Please treat and do a massive change history on all memory barriers, broken promises, and secondary intentions. Please treat and do a massive change history. That's it. And just breathe through those as it's shifting. That's it. Just big heart breaths. Superconscious, do you see the inner child? Yep. Yeah. Please treat, do a massive change history on the inner child and permission to share her voice. Please treat into a massive change history, safe to share a voice, safe to be herself, all aspects of that. Yeah. And, and do you feel the, yeah. Yeah. Please treat to a massive change history. So I want to bring up the masculine resistance here, permission from dad, validation from, from father, from masculine. Please bring that into the active experience. And please treat it in the perfect way, in the perfect order. That's it. Superconscious, if there's any other resistance left in the field that's stopping confidence, relaxed and easy, speaking in front of groups, feeling natural and safe and confident. Please bring it all into the active experience and treat it in the perfect way, in the perfect order, and do a massive change history and everything after that. That's it. And just choose to allow it to be treated, it's safe. When pain is resolved, Trauma turns to wisdom. So take, take three breaths and then just come back to us. Love to see how you're going. Welcome back. How was that? 
freaky. It was freaky? Mm -hmm. What was freaky about it? When you um, said about, I've done lots of meditations on in a child, and people say that you should see your inner child. I've never seen her. I actually saw myself as about a three, four-year-old huh. and heard a voice actually screaming at me, shut up, you love the sound of your own voice. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely loud. <laughs> Always have been. <laughs> and how's, how are you going? I didn't have any memories of such, but I just felt at different things that you're talking about. I just would go into more deeper relax, deeper back. I just kind of felt different levels kind of fall away. Nice. Yeah. And uh, just, just audience, who's noticing a difference how they're speaking in front of the group right now? Anyone at all or is it just me? Yeah. How do you guys feel in front of an audience right now? Well, I can actually look up. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually kind of like I weren't even there. <laughs> a bit comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's totally comfortable, but much better. You were very uncomfortable before you went up and sat down. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do feel way better. Feel yeah, good. Yeah. And so before, that was an impossibility. But once we, once we connect into the aspects of them that's causing that resistance and, and allow it to shift, now this is a new possibility. So let's finish it off if you guys want to. You want to finish it off? Yeah. So close your eyes and just let me connect back in. Superconscious, I want to bring out any part personalities, uh, any, any aspects of consciousness, superconscious, unconscious, or self-conscious that causes any resistance to being a confident, relaxed, easy public speaker that just allows, bring anything into the active experience and do one big, massive change history and anything else needed, including family history, Tandem memories, original events, future events, all emotions, structures, broken promises, broken agreements, secondary intentions, and everything else. Please treat to a massive change history. And superconscious, please reinforce this belief with confidence. Please reinforce this this new choice with trust. Please reinforce this new belief with a feeling of complete certainty. And allow those memories to ground back into the matrix of the universe. And take three big breaths and welcome back to no resistance to public speaking. And you can open your eyes when you're ready. Who thinks that's pretty cool? Yeah. Emma's all in. How are you feeling? Well, now I'd like to... No, no. <laughs> please go. Please go. My name's Aisha. Um, I've just had my first live recoding session at the Magnetic Mine. And it was to, yeah, it's, I feel like I've had some massive shifts and still feeling a little bit jittery inside, but feeling very confident to go out there and try my first, at least, video um, to get out there and I'd eventually get out there and do some public speaking. So, yeah, it's exciting times ahead. Um, I had a lot of different feelings. I had, at one point, um, Chris mentioned to... Um, uh, something to do with the inner child going back and I actually saw a visual in my mind a visual picture of me at about four years old and my mother screaming at me to shut up um, and I like the sound of my own voice so that sort of clarified to me where maybe I have developed a, a confidence barrier or a, um, a fear of actually going out and speaking so that sort of um, and also um, something that I didn't say inside, um, when he mentioned my father and that um, getting permission, I don't have a very good relationship with him, so I started getting angry and then I thought to myself, don't try and create something that's not there, so, and I actually just, it just dissolved and went away. So yeah, it's, um, it, was, it was an unusual experience and that, but a, a lightning experience, so a great experience, I enjoyed it. Well, I just had that clearing, recoding with Chris of public speaking 
and it was huge even while he was talking to me and I'm standing on stage I, I couldn't even hear what he was saying I was just in fear and the whole process afterwards I just felt shaky all over and I'm still processing it and I cried afterwards and my whole life I've never been able to have anyone even look at me to do anything. Like I wouldn't even let my mum come to school and watch me do anything because it terrified me. I just couldn't, I can't do anything. If I know anyone knows me, I can't have them watch me. It doesn't matter what it is. I've done courses and I've failed the exams if I have to do something physically in front of people because I can't do it. I can't read, I can't see. And Chris just has done this recode and um, here I am now actually talking to a camera and someone's on me and I shouldn't be able to do this. But here I am being able to do it after a recode and I can feel my whole body shaking. I'm still processing whatever it was he changed. I don't even know what's changed. I know I don't need to know and I'm okay with that. And, um, and the difference is from I'm actually standing here doing this. This is quite remarkable and it's all just a quick recode. I, I don't know, I don't understand and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, will I do a public speaking? Will I do my video for magnetic buying? Will I get on there and do that? Like I'm still not sure because my mind hasn't quite accepted that I can and here I am doing it now. It's really quite bizarre. Anyway, that's how it is.